Welcome to In the Kitchen. Today, we're outside of the kitchen, and at my favorite place, we're by the grill. The birds are chirping, it's a beautiful day, people are getting their yards ready. So I'm gonna show you how to make a brat hot tub and teach you some tips and tricks along the way. Now since we're placing our brats directly on the grill, a good tip is to spray the grill while it's cold with a vegetable oil to keep the brats from sticking. Now when you're using a gas grill, you wanna preheat the grill for about 10 to 15 minutes and close the lid. Now if your grill has any burnt on food from the last go around, scrub it off with a stiff wire brush after you preheat it. Today we'll be cooking on medium to low heat, so I've adjusted the grill accordingly. And when you're bringing your brats out to the grill, you want to bring two plates, one for the cooked meat when it's finished and one with the raw meat on it. And when you're grilling your brats, I like to soak them in room temperature beer or water before grilling and this helps soften the casing or the skin. Now we're going to grill on indirect medium heat. So we've turned one half of the grill off and we've placed the brats on the other side of the grill that's not lit. The grill should be around 300 degrees Fahrenheit and they're going to cook for about 20 minutes, which is just enough time for a glass of wine, a beer or another beverage. Now you want to turn the brats often to make sure that they're not splitting or popping. So when you're grilling, you can use tongs or a spatula to turn the meat. If you use a fork, that's going to pierce the brats and you're going to lose all of those tasty juices. Now you want to turn your grill onto medium low heat so you can grill evenly and avoid any flare ups. If you do have a flare up on a gas grill, never use water to extinguish the flames. Just turn the burners off, move the food to another area of the grill and relight it. I like to use a good meat thermometer to test if the brats are done. Now don't overcook them. Perfectly grilled brats are done at 160 degrees Fahrenheit or when they're bubbling inside the casing and the outside is crisp and golden brown. Now the brats will cook a little bit more after you remove them from the grill, so try and remember to allow for that. If you're using any barbecue sauce or other sugar or tomato based sauces, those should be added near the end of the grilling process, otherwise they're likely to burn. Now when the brats are done, you want to place them in a foil tray with beer, onions, butter and garlic. Heat the brat hot tub to a light simmer. This will add some flavor to your brats and you can hold them until people are ready for seconds, till the second half of the game, or you know for those stragglers that like to show up a little bit late. Now once they're done and cooled off and ready to eat, feel free to add your favorite sides like a nice hard roll, some German sauerkraut, potato salad or grilled corn on the cob. I think these are ready, so I'll have to give them a try. Now, we're ready to have a party. Want more info on Johnsonville's Bratz and other delicious products? Visit facebook.com forward slash Johnsonville.